what's up people boogie in the building back with another banger here on the main channel this is the first real video and we are going to be going over some nba news today so Giannis Antetokounmpo is set to sign the supermax um i don't know if i should do these videos with um highlights in the background uh, if i do you guys will see that now um, should be, okay, here we are, so Giannis Antetokounmpo is set, uh, he's not set, but, like, they're saying he's definitely gonna be signing that Supermax, there's a high chance, um, and that's great for Giannis, I think he should stay in Milwaukee, I don't think he should leave, and I don't think he is the type of person to leave, um, but at the same time, we did, uh, think about that with, like, Kevin Durant, and all those other people, the fans of the team always think that their star player is going to stay no matter what. I'm not a fan of the Bucks, and I still think he's going to stay. But, um, you know, he could still, he could still not stay. But I think if he does not sign the Supermax this year, he's not going to re-sign. Because there's no reason, if he wanted to re-sign with the Bucks, there is absolutely no reason that, um, He's going to want to re-sign next year for less money. Like, what kind of sense does that make? So, he's it's for the Bucks right now, it's sign him now or it's bust. You're done. So, yeah, that's really my opinion on that. Um, I, I hope Giannis re-signs. Uh, I, like, I would like to see him re-sign. I, I don't want to see him join a super team. I want to see him dominate and be that MVP player. Um, continue to be that way. I don't want to see him with another star and I think he can carry this Bucks team all the way to the finals and potentially a championship if they keep rolling and they make a trade for another great player like a Drew Holiday who's been in trade talks which I'm going to talk about in a little um Victor Oladipo has been in trade talks but I think he's going to stay for another year and then leave in free agency um who else has been in trade talks um Devin Booker they say he wants out, but I, I don't think he does. But who knows what Devin Booker's thinking. Um, Yeah, there's a ton of stars that they can go out and get. Um, Robert Covington is a player that that is um, currently in trade talks. But they're going to probably want shooting guards, point guards, um, or centers. Or they can also get a small forward and move Middleton over to the two. But... Um, Obviously, they don't want to get another power forward, and um, I think I think they're fine with Brook Lopez because they paid him so much money to be that center, unless they're trading him. But I think they want to keep Brook Lopez as a center because he fits the game perfectly. He protects the rim. He hits three pointers from like way deep. Um, he attacks the basket. He he just he's not like a great center but he does everything that you want from a center so I think they have faith in Brooke Lopez to be that starting center on a championship team personally I don't have the faith in, faith in Brooke Lopez but I mean they paid him all that money and I think they have the same with Chris Middleton so I, I they should be keeping both of those players so they're either going to look for a new point guard or they're going to look for a new um, small forward slash shooting guard a new wing and then move Chris Middleton over to the two if they have to. So, I think if they make that move, they are definitely championship contenders. They are no longer pretenders. And they need to get a playoff performer, man. Victor Oladipo, he, he was known to, to go down in the playoffs. Everyone on the Bucks is known to be worse in the playoffs. Eric Bledsoe, atrocious in the playoffs. Giannis, horrible in the playoffs. Chris Middleton, he was better in the playoffs this year, but he still wasn't himself. In the playoffs, as we get a loves ad, I love it. Or no pun intended. Uh, I I forgot what I was saying. Loves, you threw me off. Um, yeah. So basically, the Bucks they need to make a trade to become um real championship people or real championship team, and uh, I think they will make that trade, and I think they will become. Um, championship contenders, and I think, I think, they'll make the finals next year. That's a bold prediction, but I think they will, and I think Giannis is going to re-sign that Supermax, and I hope he does, 
Now let's get into Drew Holiday trade talks real quick. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna if this is like a good uh, highlight thing, but I, I had to put something on. We're we're talking about Drew Holiday. Um, he is going to be in trade talks. The Pelicans have said um, that they're very open to moving Drew Holiday, and those contenders that are out there are listening to offers. So. Um, teams that are interested in Drew would be the Bucks, as we just talked about. Um, as well would be, uh, what was I, who else? Um, crap, I lost it. So there's gonna be the Bucks, there's gonna be, I think the 76ers were interested. Oh, the Nets, yes. The Nets, they didn't say, the Nets, like, there's no rumors about the Nets wanting Drew Holiday, but like, come on. Well, there's rumors about the Nets getting Drew Holiday, but, like, nobody's ever got direct info from the Nets. And we can add, what is this, Broccoli? What? What is that? Okay, but, yeah, we never got direct information from the Nets that they want him, but I I think if they get, if they get um, maybe, like, Karis LeVert, maybe, like, Karis LeVert, Rodney is Karooks and a first and a second for Drew Holiday. I think that's a good deal for both sides. The Pelicans get off a lot of money. A lot of money. I don't even know if the Nets can afford that, actually. Wait, did I say... Oh, I... You you probably gotta put Spencer Dinwiddie in there. And he can be our starting two next year. Yeah, so it's probably gonna have to be Spencer Dinwiddie, Rodney is Karooks, a first and a second. But, like, that's kind of bad for the Nets, because unless you run a lineup of Kyrie, Drew Holiday, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, and um, Jared Allen, oh, that's saucy. But um, I'm not going to put any, like, specific trades out there, because I don't really know what can happen, um, or what Drew Holiday's value is like. He could just be not valued at all, because he's making a ton of money, like 25 mil. For a player that's, I'd say he's, he's not worth 25 mil. He's a great player. He's a great defender. Oh, my goodness. But he's definitely not worth 25 mil. So his value might be a little less than people think. Uh, I don't think his value is going to be more than people think. Uh, I don't know anyone that's a Drew Holiday hater. Like, how can you hate Drew Holiday? He's a beast on both sides of the ball. He put up, what, like 20 points a game this year? Five, five assists, five boards. Like he, he put, he put up some great numbers this year. And I, he had like two point five. He, he was like third in the league in steals. Was he an All NBA defender this year? He should have been. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if he is. I'm not sure, but he should have been. Um, he's an amazing player. Um, I don't, I don't, I just don't know what teams want for Drew Holiday, and I hope it's a lot, and I want to see Drew Holiday get to a point where he can win a championship because he's never done that in his career. Um, also, Derrick Rose, uh, I'm not going to, I mean, everyone's kind of heard about it in like month, a month ago, so I'm not really going to get into that in this video. But um, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let's get to the outro. And maybe we won't get into the outro.